Hi everybody, this is just a short tutorial video in response to an email I just received from uh, Rhonda and Joyce. They're finding a problem with the way track changes works in Microsoft Word and the solution to that problem uh, is actually going to help solve problems all across Microsoft Office. So even if you don't use track changes, this video might be useful to you. So the problem that Rhonda and Joyce are finding is if you go to the Review tab in Word, go into your Track Changes options, you'll find that in there you can make choices as to how track changes works, the color coding that things are up, that are applied to things, um, the fact that balloons do or don't show up, etc. And when you make these choices in one Word document, <clears throat> you'll then see that those changes uh, sort of take hold in all your other Word documents that you ever work on on your computer. Now the unfortunate thing that Rhonda and Joyce found out though is that if you go and email a file from one person to another that the original person's settings as far as their track changes settings are now what the settings are for that document. So as you can see here if I go into my track changes options on this file that's been emailed to me you can see that it has different settings. It has that the balloons show up on comments whereas in the previous example the balloons showed up never. Now the problem that they're facing is that they want to make sure that every time they open up one of these files with track changes turned on that they will see it as never instead of whatever the original settings were from the person who sent the email. Unfortunately it's not going to be able to happen in Word itself but there's an easy way to simplify this for yourself so that you can make this happen over and over and over again. And here's how you do it. You do this by recording a macro in Microsoft Word. So anytime that you need to repeat, repeatedly do something, for example, in this case, you need to repeatedly change the track changes settings, you can easily record a macro and then have that macro repeatable over and over again. Let me go ahead and demonstrate. If I go down to the bottom of the screen, there's a record macro button down here. And this is going to allow me to record the steps that I'm going to perform and then repeat those steps very easily immediately thereafter. When I click on the record button, I'm going to give this macro a name. I'm going to call this one change track settings. And then I'm going to affiliate this with a button and put that button on the quick access toolbar. So I click the button find my macro button here and add that to the quick access toolbar and hit OK. And now it's recording me, it's watching me do whatever steps I'm about to perform. And so here as I go to track changes, go to change tracking options, and I change this balloons from only comments and formatting to never, and hit OK. I can then push the stop recording button at the bottom of the screen and my macro has been successfully recorded and as you can see at the top of the screen we have that macro button available to push anytime we want to. So let's go ahead and see this in action. If I make a new document then I go to my review tab at the top of the screen go into my track changes and I change the options for track changes to say that the balloons should always show up and then hit OK. This would be just like receiving an email from someone where the track changes options were set inappropriately. And what you do is you simply go up to that macro button that you pressed earlier, click that button, and immediately when I go back into those same options, I see that it's set to never again. Again, I can choose always. I can go back and make sure that that setting holds true. You see, it's still always. But when I push my macro button and then go back into track changes, you see it's set to never again. So no, no matter how many times I receive files from other people, I just push that button immediately upon opening the file and I know the track changes are set the way I want them to be set.